Hey Impact and everyone else who may be tuning in, for those of you guys that don't know me, I'm Joey and I'm so honored to give this devotional to you guys today. If you want to turn with me to Joshua chapter 4, uh, we're going to be getting in uh, verse 1 today. And if you guys can't turn there, the verse will be provided for you on the screen with me. But it says, when all the people had crossed the Jordan, the Lord said to Joshua, now choose 12 men, one from each tribe. Tell them, take 12 stones from the very place where the priests are standing in the middle of the Jordan. Carry them out and pile them up at the place where you will camp tonight. So Joshua called them together, the 12 men he had chosen, one from each tribe of Israel. He told them, go into the middle of the Jordan in front of the ark of the Lord. Each of you must pick up one stone and carry it on your shoulder. 12 stones in all, one for each of the 12 tribes of Israel. We will use these stones to build a memorial. In the future, your children will ask, what do these stones mean? Then you can tell them, they remind us that the Jordan River stopped flowing when the Ark of the Lord's Covenant went across. These stones will stand as a memorial among the people of Israel forever. I want to talk to you guys today about making memorials. You see, what happened here right before Joshua chapter 4 is the Israelites went to go cross the Jordan River. And what they need to do is they need to cross it so that they could get to the city of Jericho. And the Jordan River was in one of its uh, best seasons for the uh, vegetation around it. It was overflowing and it was great for the land. It was very, very fertile. But the problem was they were trying to cross it while it was very uh, rambunctious in the, uh, in the river. So they go and they cross this river. And what God actually does is he reverses its stream and they're able to walk across on dry land. That's just such an amazing miracle. And so what the Lord uh, tells Joshua to do is to make a memorial. And what a memorial is, it's basically commemorating something that happened in your life. And from a Christian standpoint, it's, it's uh, commemorating what God has done in our lives. I'll kind of give you an example of this. Uh, I was in high school and I was taking physics class and physics was so, so hard. And there were so many formulas and so many different ways of doing things. I recall times where some people in my class got tens on our physics test because they were so, so challenging. And I was taking my physics final and I was like really studied really hard. I was all prepared and I got the test back and I got a 96 on my physics final. I was so amazed and I was like, yes, I got a 96 and I was so happy. And what I did with that test is I took it with me to my first semester at Bible college. And I said, if the Lord was able to get me through a physics final, I can get through anything else that happens while I'm here at college. And that really became like a memorial to me of the power of what God can do and how he can use my mind uh, and I can have the mind of Christ in everything that I do. So that was like a memorial for me. Right now there's a time, you know, uh, with this whole COVID situation and everything going on in our country where we're kind of just locked inside and we haven't had too much going on. And I'm sure if you've been spending time with God or if you've been, uh, have any situation that's been happening, God has done something in your life right now. And he's done something, you know, maybe in the past three months, maybe in the last week. But what I want to encourage you guys to do is make a memorial of it. Make a decision to say, well, I'm going to commemorate what God has done. That could be anything from writing a note in your Bible, from writing a piece of paper to remember. For goodness sake, it could be, you know, putting a bunch of rocks together, just like they did with the Israelites here. But whatever can help you remember the thing that God has done in your life, that's what I want to encourage you to do. And there's something deeper about memorials, even than just reminding us of what God has done. The scripture actually says down in verse 21 of chapter 4, Then Joshua said to the Israelites, in, your, in the future your children will ask, What do these stones mean? Then you can tell them, This is where the Israelites crossed the Jordan on dry ground. For the Lord your God dried up the river right before your eyes, and he kept it dry until you were all across, just as he did at the Red Sea. I think there's, so, there's two cool things that happen here. Joshua is saying memorials 
the things that you do to commemorate what God has done here, you're gonna be able to tell the generation behind you. And what that does when you create a memorial to tell the generation behind you is it enables the generation behind you to have the faith to see the same things happen in their life because they know that it's been experienced already. So when you make these memorials, you can pass it on to your kids and then your kids can have something awesome happen because of that memorial and pass it on to their kids. And it can be something that travels through the generations. I believe here that the reason why the Red Sea is thrown in and now God could have just revealed to Joshua, you know, that the Red Sea happened. But I believe that it was passed down from generations and that they knew about the Red Sea crossing when they went to cross that Jordan River. And because they had that memorial and because they had that memory passed down to them, they were able to say, you know what? The same God that split the Red Sea is going to be able to split the Jordan for us right now. And that's what you guys can do in the generations behind us. That's what we as Christians can encourage our children with and just remind them of everything that God has done in our lives. So make a memorial. Go and remember the things that God has done. Even if it was five years ago, make a memorial so you make sure to remember the things that God has done in your life. I hope that encouraged you guys today. And let me just pray for you real quick. Father, I thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done in my life, Lord, for everything that you've done in the people's lives that are watching right now, Lord. And uh, I just pray, Lord, that we would commemorate everything that you have done, pass it on to the generations behind us, and we would continue to have faith, Father, to see the Spirit of God move, move in our lives and miracles happen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We love you here at Impact Youth and we can't wait to see you guys again. God bless, take care.